Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. Today's video is a little bit different than normal. Today, I want to take you step by step and show you how to find an Athena emissary, how to hide, more importantly, how to tuck, and to steal your way to Athena fortune glory. Now, I already have a lot of videos on how to sneaky sneak around the Sea of Thieves, so definitely go check that out. But today's video is a little bit different. I want to walk you through a heist that I pulled off. After finding an Athena emissary on the voting table, you want to start heading towards Thieves Haven and try to find your target. And in this case, target has been acquired. Now that I know where they are, I pay very close attention to the direction that they're sailing. So right there, I noticed that they were sailing north, most likely to Crook's Hollow, which reminds me, the islands that you're looking for in a Thieves Haven heist are Crook's Hollow, Devil's Ridge, Snake Island, and of course, Thieves Haven. Something I want to quickly point out is when you're trying to get to Thieves Haven to tuck away, you want to make sure you don't go the direct route. You want to take the big wide turn so that you don't cause suspicion. Now, as I'm approaching Thieves Haven in this case, I notice a sloop. What is this sloop doing? I have no idea. I was going to park my sloop here, but seeing that sloop, I had to quickly change my plans. So instead, I go to the island. I get some height advantage. I go to the center, climb up top, and I want to see what that sloop is doing. Now, they could have just parked out there in the middle of the sea. They could be a swabby. I don't know. I ended up scuttling my sloop to not cause suspicion because I originally thought the sloop was heading here. But upon further observation, they're clearly a swabby who loved the glowy flag, so they put it on. So now let's focus on to the more important target, the Athena Emissary that we spotted earlier at Crook's Hollow. I noticed that they're still there, which means now is the part of any good sneaky sneak that uh, we all don't look forward to, but we have to wait. And boy, did I wait. I waited over 10 minutes for this scurvy dog to get to Thieves Haven, but eventually they did come back to the island and this is when things got, how do you say, a little, a little more exciting. Now to pull off a proper sneaky snake at Thieves Haven, one of the best things you can do is get height advantage. Get the eyes that you need on the target. They most likely will not see you, but you do want to be careful in case they shoot off with a cannon. So definitely jump into the hide a moat. Now in this case, what I'm looking for is the opportune moment to board the enemy's ship. And after waiting for a bit more, he finally started to head up towards the top of Thieves Haven. And with his back turned, this is when I decided to make my move. Now, in this case, I'm just waiting for the perfect time to go up the ladder and get down below deck. I want to try to establish what's going on here. I see that he has a bit of treasure. It shows me that he's close to being done and most likely on a Thieves Haven run, that means he's going to have a mega keg soon. So in this case, I'm going to try to find a hiding spot on the ship. I'm trying to decide where I want to go. And in the end, I pick one of my favorite spots, which happens to be the Cannon Tuck. So knowing that the coast is clear, I move into position and get into my tuck. Now that I'm in my tuck, it is again another waiting game and we are going to wait a little bit more. He comes back a few times in between this, but obviously he doesn't see me. Now as a scurvy dog that this pirate is, he should check his ship at every given opportunity, but he fails to do so and multiple times gets really close to seeing me, but in the end doesn't see me. Eventually, I hear him swimming towards the ship, carrying something, and I finally see what I'm looking for, the Mega Keg. 
and he takes it right up to the crow's nest. Now, this is the opportunity that I'm looking for. As soon as he turns his back, giving me the option to climb into the crow's nest and tuck into the keg, I am going to go for it. So I'm going to watch for his back to be turned, and as soon as it is, I am climbing up to the crow's nest. So in a sneaky sneak situation like this, that's the moment you're waiting for. And he goes down below deck and I make my move. Now it was only a few seconds that he was down below, but it was enough time that I needed to get up to the crow's nest and get into position. And as soon as you're here, mates, you are almost home free. Now, a good thing to do in a situation like this is wait for the scurvy dogs to get to an outpost to turn in, and that is when you make your move. So in this case, I am just along for the ride, and most likely in a Thieves' Haven run, these pirates are going to head to Plunder Outpost, so you don't have to wait too long. Now, as we approach and as we get closer, I am looking for that moment again, that moment that will be the perfect situation for me to drop this keg off onto this scurvy dog and blow him up. Now, as we approach and as we get closer, being the lazy pirate that I am, I don't want to be too far from the outpost. And here it is, the moment we've been waiting for. Now, first thing you want to do in a situation like this is make sure that you get right back to full health. And I did notice that he was standing right next to the keg, which means this poor scurvy dog, yeah, he he died in the flaming bomb that was the mega keg. After I slow clapped, I hopped over there and wanted to make sure that there was no coming back for this pirate and just wanted to establish the high ground and wait for the ship to sink. As soon as it does, you want to get back to the land and take the high ground. As we learned from Obi-Wan Kenobi, you must have the high ground in any fight. Anakin didn't learn this lesson. Don't be an Anakin. So I did hear a shot. I'm trying to establish where this pirate might be. I'm looking around and eventually I do get eyes on him. And I do what the cursed captain does the best. Send souls to the ferryman. Bro, dude, hippo. I swear, you're recording this? I sure am, buddy. Yeah. I sure am. And there you mates go. Kind of a walkthrough on how I pull off Athena Emissary Steals. It's a little bit different than the normal videos that I do. I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Oh, DC, is that actually you? It sure was, matey. It sure was.